Hi, Mr. Gunfighter here. About a year ago, I was contacted by a video team out of Los Angeles. They called and asked me, is it possible to teach a blind man how to shoot fast draw? And I told them sure it was. Back in the day, we had a lady named Jenny Terman who was blind and she shot for a couple of years. This team told me that they worked with a gentleman named Tommy Edison. Tommy has his own channel called the Tommy Edison Experience. Tommy was born blind, he's a great guy, and he was a really good student. The video you're about to see was the result of Tommy and I working together. I hope you enjoy it. Today I'm going to learn all about guns with this guy. This is Cisco Master Gunfighter. How are you? I'm great, Tommy. How are you doing? I'm great. That, that's a nice last name. Is that Irish or something? I think it's part Irish and part Hispanic. I'm not sure. <laughs> My name's Gil Guerra Jr. My alias is Cisco Master Gunfighter. I've been shooting professional fast draw for over 40 years, and I've got six years in cowboy fast draw. This is the fastest shooting sport in the world, the sport of cowboy fast draw. Now, where are we exactly, sir? We are at Cable Airport in Upland, California. This is the hangar of the Deputies Cowboy Fast Draw Gun Club that I'm a member of. You're gonna show me all about guns, right? And show me a gun and everything. I'm gonna introduce you to a single action revolver, show you how it works, then we're going to put a holster in on, on you and show you how to shoot cowboy fast draw. And, and what kind of guns do you use here? These are called Vaqueros. They're made by Ruger and they're 45 caliber single actions. All right. The gun is right in front of you. You can hear me open the gate. Yep. By opening the gate, that frees the cylinder. What I'm doing is checking the gun to make sure that it's absolutely empty. Okay. I'm going to close the gate and lock it up. Okay. I'm going to hand the gun to you. You are left-handed, correct? Yes, I am. There we go. Wow. Look at that. I've never touched a gun like this before in my life. This is incredible. We're going to be shooting wax bullets like we do in competition, so there'll be no recoil okay. and very minimal noise. So none of this will, there won't be, the gun won't be jumping or recoiling in your hand. Cool. Well, I guess we'll give this thing a shot, huh? Yeah. Oh, uh, come on. I had, it's a cheap one, but what the hell? Yeah, it's a good one. We use it periodically, but yes, let's give this a shot and see how it goes. <laughs> it's funnier when you say it. What do I do? How does this work now? Well, according to the, the rules in the sport, you are allowed to hold onto the gun. So we're going to put your hand right there and we're okay. going to put your thumb on the hammer. Okay. Keep the finger, trigger finger out for safety purposes. Okay. Right sure. there. I want your elbow out just a little bit. There we've got a nice straight line in line with the holster. Okay. When you hear the beep, which is your signal to draw and fire, right. I want you to first cock the hammer. Like that. There you go. Now draw the gun. Point it straight ahead and then squeeze the trigger. Now put it back in the holster. There you go. At 16 feet is a two foot circle, 50 inches center off the ground and that's what you're gonna shoot at today. My goal for you is try to get you as close to one second to draw, lock and fire that gun on reaction from the holster. Close one to second. one second. One Holy second. cow, all right, sir. All right, Tommy, let's get the gun loaded. I want you to stay right where you're at. I'm gonna take this from you. I'm gonna put five rounds in there and see how that goes. The first round, we're gonna let you just shoot so you can hear it and feel it. Okay, hold on to the gun right there. Put your finger there. I want you to use your thumb and cock the hammer. And I'm gonna line you up. Now feel where this is, because that's where I want you to shoot. Okay. Now you can squeeze the trigger anytime you want to. <laughs> hear that? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we shot a little bit to the left of the target. If you're looking at a face clock, it was about 10 o'clock. Okay. Here we go. Get yourself all set. Here comes your command. Stand by. Ready? <laughs> that one, you feel it swing in front of your body? Yes, I did. Now, remember I told you I wanted to get this around a second? Yep. The time on the display is 1.25 seconds. Whoa. One and a quarter seconds to get that shot off. Feel that shot low? Yes. And that was 1.27 hundredths of a second. Okay. That was in 1.42 seconds. Yeah, a little slow. We're gonna do this till we get it right. That was 1.28 seconds. Feel that shot low? Yep. Feel how your wrist should be locked? Yep. I'm sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Tommy, okay. if, if you could see the timer, it's saying 99 hundredths 
Oh. oh one second. Oh. All I have to do is hit it now. That was seven inches from the target at seven o'clock in one zero seven hundredth of a second. Uh -oh. Ah, you got ahead of yourself. I did. I that one was in 69 hundredths of a second, <laughs> but it was at the base of the target. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I'm thinking about the time. I, I should concentrate more on hitting the target yeah. first. You shot low at 1.24 seconds. Holster. Feel that go to the left? Yes. Can you feel that low? Yeah. I, so I'm... See this, I That's okay. what you need to do. Touch right it. Right there. Feel it. Know where it is. Yep. That was dead level with the target, just about eight inches to the left of oh. it. At 1.28. Oh, Tommy, you missed it by an inch at 122. That was low. Could you feel the difference between that one and the one before? Yes, but I heard something that time. There we go. We Went got a hit. At 98, 98 hey. of a second, Tommy. Hey. Nice. That was excellent. Go that ahead and holster that awesome. gun. Oh my God, that was great. Now, if you're looking straight ahead, mental picture, you hit the target about two inches in at eight o'clock on the target. It left a mark and we've got a recorded time of 98 hundredths of a second, under one second to draw and fire a single action revolver from the holster with reaction time, blind. That is awesome. Outstanding. That I'm really is impressed. Tremendous. Thank you so shake. much, man. My great pleasure. That That's was some good stuff. Wow. I knew we could do it in a second. <laughs> Less than a second. There you go. Better. <laughs>